But let's go. Hole of Heroes, sub-level 1. So this... This cave is kind of a boss rush. You're gonna fight basically every boss in the game again. I mean, we'll still have some normal floors here and there, but... This... The main gimmick of this dungeon is that you fight pretty much every boss in the game a second time. Generally in harder conditions. Don't think I don't notice that Creeping Chrysanthemum there, by the way. You're not, you're not disrupting my death. Let's run this quickly. There we go. It's hero time, indeed. How about killing him? Thank you. Ouch. Yeah, I've, I've already taken damage as the captains. That's probably not a good thing. There are 15 floors. This is the longest dungeon in the game. There are 15 floors. I love purple Pikmin. <laughs> purple Pikmin are so stupid in this game. But it's, it's good that they are, because uh, this game will be a whole lot harder if there were no purple Pikmin. Oh! And purple Pikmin love me, too. Big purple guys. That guy loves me, too. But I don't reciprocate the love. <laughs> He's like, I just wanted to be your friend. Oh, it's just a female sugar grudge. That's fine. Hey, hi guys! What's going on? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is just more nectar. That's disappointing. Oh, hi. Oh, Shearwigs! So they start you off nice and easy to go. It's a couple bugs. Yeah, that, that's fine. Trust me. Later sub-levels, we, we go into the depths of hell. Oh, a lot of games have boss rushes. This isn't quite a boss rush, it's not just like, this floor you fight this boss, this floor you fight this boss. It's more just like, the toughest bosses you're gonna face again. The Corpulent Nut for 80 Pocos. Also, there are 13 treasures here and only 15 and 15 floors, so there are gonna be generally one, one treasure per sub-level and a couple sub-levels that will have no treasure. Yay! The game has been saved. Whole of Heroes, sub-level 2. So I'm trying- I think in terms of resets, the amount of times I had to reset a boss, the boss that gave me the toughest time was actually the flippin' burrowing Snagrit from the White Flower Garden. I think that is the boss I've had to reset against the most. Uh-oh, we got a whistle bug in here. Yeah, Secret Shrine from Majora's Mask is also, like, a pseudo-boss. Well, that's not very nice. Okay, you know what? Seems like another good floor to let the captains poke around and explore things first. Because I don't want bomb rocks falling down on me. Swooping snitch bug. Oh boy, bumbling snitch bug. Anode beetles. Okay. Here's the whistle bug. Is that where the treasure is, or is that just that's just an egg? All right. Well, I do want to explore the egg. Is the treasure back here? Another egg. Cookie's done yet. Okay, don't know where the treasure is. It's probably inside an enemy somewhere. 
and the whistle bug is going to make it difficult for that. The treasure gauge is doing that because there's an there's an enemy in this game that's like a spider that has its own whistle, and that when it's around, it'll disrupt your treasure detector. And that's this guy. No, 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 no. I don't want my non-yellow Pikmin anywhere near the electricity. Okay, so the treasure is in here. Alright, so we'll need white Pikmin to dig it up. Bet you there will be a trap in here. I still bet you there's going to be a trap in here. Apparently not. Okay, but unfortunately we're going to have to clear the pathway before I'm willing to let those guys carry it back. That Karina and Dirigi bug's just like, when do I throw the bomb at them? Not now. Not now. Later. Eventually. Oh no! Those anode beetles really make me paranoid. Because literally at any moment they can just create an electric fence across the stage. Kill him, kill him, kill him. That's just beautiful. I love that. I think this guy's the only one left, so we'll just finish him off. I want to see what's in the eggs. If there are more sprays, that'll be nice to have, because I have a feeling we're going to be eating through a lot of those sprays in this uh, cave. Either that or I just hoard on, hold on to them like a... <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, I can't use it. I might need it later. It's like, you're literally about to die. Yeah, but I might be about to die even more later in the dungeon. <laughs> what if there's a bigger emergency? Alright. Fast boys can carry that back. There should be no enemies in the way. And I believe the exit is behind a gate, so I will need my Pikmin to clear the way for that. Okay, now no, that bomb rock's too close. We need to get away from that. <laughs> Gotta get that weapon EXP. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, another jewel. The essence of true love. Forget Jesus, that's what true love looks like. Alright. Yeah, the exit's up here. Okay, well, if you're gonna make a statement like that, then I'll happily kill you. He's like, I'm gonna just snatch you up before you leave. <laughs> so, so far, so good. We haven't run into any bosses yet. I, I still don't know what caused that glitch where it said Pikmin died. No Pikmin died. <laughs> and I guarantee there will be people out there like, <laughs> Your run is not actually no deaths. Eight Pikmin died. It's like, no, they didn't. Well, the game said it did, so therefore. At first, I'm like, sub level 13? No, it's sub level. That's an L and a 3, not a 1 free. Okay. I have my first target. 
Okay, all right, let's back off. Let's not get near the volatile Dweevil. Oh, hi, I didn't even see you here. Well, this sub level seems fair and balanced. No! My flower Pikmin, no! <laughs> the flower Pikmin, they're all gone! <laughs> oh no, look at all those leaves! Alright, everyone's still alive! We're all incredibly slow and not very powerful now. Which sucks, but maybe we can find some nectar somewhere. Oh my gosh, they are literally all leaf Pikmin now. That's really bad. No egg, no nectar. Oh, yuck. This is awful. <laughs> I mean, white Pikmin are still not, honestly, that much different. Um, how did a white Pikmin get all the way over there? I didn't throw anyone over there. Oh, brother. Well, at least we get our flower Pikmin back. I don't think we'll be able to keep the flower Pikmin because there are blowhogs everywhere and volatile dweevils that prevent you from actually killing them. We would be fighting men. Yeah, we will. Hole of Heroes, sub-level free. Let's see if I can trigger the Volatile Dweevils early. Maybe not. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh no! That stupid Wivering Blowhog was able to blow the wind through a wall and the gate. Put Blowhogs through gates! But why can they blow through the gates? Is there, liter is there literally any way to get through that without losing all of your flower, Pikmin? Sure doesn't feel like it. We could have grabbed that at the beginning! I am kind of surprised my Leaf Purple Pikmin were able to outrun that. Oh boy. Well, here we go. The treasure of the floor. 85 Pocos for a yellow marble. The love sphere. I That's funny, because I didn't love it at all. <laughs> oh yeah, I never have a shortage of ideas. It's just a shortage of time. Real tired of my purple Pikmin not actually la being launched when I'm telling them to. Ah, 
That freaking blowhog laughed at me after he blew all my stuff away. Kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I better find some nectar, because if sub-level 4 is what I ever think it is, if we don't have any flower pigmen, we are so unbelievably royally screwed. Like, we need flower pigmen for the boss rushes. It is not optional. Like, you need them to do it, it safely, at least. Maybe there will be ways to bring my Pikmin's flowers back on the next floor. Because there sure doesn't seem to be any nectar on this floor. Nope. Nothing. Great. Wonderful. Spectacular. Fantastic. That's a very weird question to ask. Simpsons are us. Um, like, yes. I mean, I, I find baby crying in, in general annoying. I'm crying in general. Oh, gr you gotta be kidding me! This is literally the worst possible floor to not have flower Pikmin on. This might be the toughest floor in the game for a no deaths run. Oh, there better be eggs around here for us to get nectar from. If we have to do, th I'm blowing every spicy spray. If I if I can't find any nectar, I am blowing every single spicy spray in the game if necessary to get through this. Are there seriously no eggs? Are you kidding me? Are the game the game designers really are that sadistic? They design a floor where you literally cannot get through it without losing all your flower pigment, and then give you the absolute worst floor in the world if you don't have flower pigment. You might be wondering why that is. Well, we're facing an old friend today, and by old friend I mean one of the most annoying bosses in the entire game, and I question if I'll be able to beat it. So, no flower pigment. Well. I looked this up, because I knew this floor was coming, and I knew I needed strategy ideas. The idea for this floor, you're going to want just your purples. And because we don't have flower purples, we're going to need spicy spray. So, for this floor, this is hidden. Yep, it's the pileated snagrit. But this time, there's a quicksand pit in the middle that will push your Pikmin around. I believe there's also a burrowing snake grid on this floor. So, I looked it up, and apparently the strategy for this is when he... First off. So one nice thing about the Pileated snake grid is that he actually can get stunned by the purple Pikmin. So if he gets stuck in the ground... Oh no. If the Pileated Snagret gets stuck in the ground, instead of swarming him, apparently you want to toss purples on him. On his head. So doing that knocked out a, an okay chunk of his HP, but not a lot. Okay. What?! He can eat Pikmin through the wall. Thomas had never seen such bullcrap before. <laughs> Actually, I have, but... I'm not even surprised. Like I said, this, this is the dungeon. The game throws everything it has at you. There is no mercy in the whole of Heroes. And this is sub-level 4. Only sub-level 4. So there's, there's literally just no safe place to put your other Pikmin. No matter where you put them, he can just eat them through the wall, apparently. Choo-choo! No mercy in Wistful Wild. Very true.
Yeah, if you don't have Flower Pikmin, you better hope you got a lot of spicy sprays. Because if, you, if you're Purple Pikmin or Leaf Pikmin, they will get eaten up so fast. You won't be able to outrun this guy. Especially on a floor that's made of quicksand. How about going back into the ground instead of being a goober? Wow! All of my Pikmin missed, because apparently Pikmin... Purple, purple Pikmin homing AI just is not a fan, apparently. Oh, there we go. That deals a lot of damage. Like, but you have to hope that they latch on to the, uh, no. Run! Yeah, if he was a Leaf Pikmin, he wouldn't even be able to move at all. I want to do challenge mode. And again, I've already done challenge mode no deaths before. Oh no! We messed up! I don't want to deal with the burrowing snagret. In fact, I don't even really want to deal with the pileated snagret. But I have to because he's the one that has the treasure. Good thing we've been duping all these spicy sprays. Uh, uh, uh. God, no. Come on. Stop being cheap! <gasps> Go back in the ground! He's not stopping hopping! Finally. I'm gonna blow for all my spicy sprays, aren't I? I'll go to the very center of the room and then dive back in. <laughs> Here we go. This this will finish him. Die, stupid. Oh no, that bounced so far away. I kind of just want the white Pikmin. Don't tell me that bounced all the way to where the burrowing snagger is. Carry that back. Carry it back fast. Do not get eaten by the burrowing snagger. We just want to kill the pileated one. There we go. Okay. I can't... Wow. Oh, it's the Sacagawea dollar. Nice. A thousand pokos. The lustrous element. Does that mean... <laughs> Does that mean that one Poco is one-tenth of a cent? Because a second away a dollar is, well, a dollar. That was very close. Let's get the heck out of that sub-level. That's one of my least favorite sub-levels in the whole game. Hopefully we get some nectar on this sub-level. Actually, I could, I could really go for a sub-level with a bunch of Mamutas. Who can just pound my Pikmin with flowers. I'd say that's in the top five toughest sublevels. I'm not sure what the toughest sublevel in the game is. Honestly, sublevel four of Submerged Castle is pretty nasty. Oh, this might be a rest. Exactly. This might be a. Uh... <gasps> we get back here. Yes. Oh yes. One piece. That's it. <laughs> Ooh. 
Alright, well that gives us a lot of flowers. But it's not enough! Oh, <gasps> Mamuta! Asking you shall receive. Oh no, the glint beetle. Yeah, 100 pokos is more than a year's salary. Maybe it's just they have a better economy than us, and that one poco gives them more money. Okay. I, I don't want my Pikmin to kill the Mimuda. Well, too bad. They, they did. They knew. They put this sub-level in because they're like, Oh, we know you have no flower Pikmin after those last few sub-levels. Why couldn't they have to put this in before the Pileated Snagrit floor, though? That would have been so helpful. <laughs> Oh, it's another Mamuta. I think we have all flower pigment at this point, though. Almost went to the wrong place. No, we want to go to the hole and not to be... <sighs> Is the donkey on 64 max percent going to be... Okay, well, first off, I'm not playing that for a while. So I'll answer those questions when we get there. But it's more than 100%. It's using intense glitches to get more than 100%. The Mamuta is not an elephant. The Mamuta. Oh wait, this looks frightening. Like the frighteningly like that one Dream Den sub level where you start on a tree in the middle of a lake. And yeah, this. Wait, this is the sub level I was thinking of. Unless there's an even worse one in the Dream Den that I'm. Free. No, I think there is an even worse one in the Dream Den. This one's deeply nasty though. So there's a sub level. There's a sub-level almost exactly like this in the Dream Den, except it's even worse, because there are Gatling Groinks that blast you. This is the easier one, yeah. This is just a taste of what's to come, I guess. I feel like I've said that a lot in this uh, stream series. Alright. Cool, we got the blues. We gotta get the skippy. I know the frog is my arch nemesis, but we should take out the hermit cromad first. That frog is very unobservant, and I love it. <laughs> Alright. Well, sh heck, if we can leave the frog alone, that would be great. The log poles don't uh, hurt us, so we can leave them alone. Come on! How about a nice, tasty worm on a stick? <laughs> Alright, we'll let him go back to base. He'll pop out again and we can finish the job. My arch nemesis is the frog! The frog kill- The frog literally- That one frog in Perplexing Pool caused me more resets than any boss in the entire game. Not exaggerating. Like, it- They legitimately did. Okay. And I have a feeling we should be- We need to take out the water dumples as well. Nice job. All right. All right. My my blue pigment are doing great. Leave the wog pole alone. He's not hurting anybody. Okay. What? In what direction are you going to be carrying the jar of Skippy peanut butter? How did I know they were going to throw something dumb at me? Alright, no, no, I don't want you to take the Mittite corpses away. I want you to just take the Skippy Peanut Butter, alright? Oh yeah, there are evil enemies in this game. Okay. Taking me through the- Alright, so you're going to- Gonna bring it over towards the other water dumble, eh? See, that's why I, I wondered, because this means I'm gonna have to go out of my way to kill the water dumble. Which I don't have a problem with, I just need to know that. Squeeze the skippy and the skippy so squeeze! 
And I believe that's the only treasure here. The, the, thank you for giving us blue flowers in case we didn't bring blue Pikmin into this area that has, um, water hazards. All right, we, we got Skippy. I'm not saying it's the best brand of peanut butter. It's probably not, but it gets the job done. The nutrient silo. Dane! 130 but Man, they can buy peanut butter for only a few cents. I wish I wish we could buy peanut butter for only a few cents. No, I've heard few food shortages may be coming. All right. Let's see if we can crack the hole open without the Wally Wog. Okay, cool. Wally Wog is... Yes. He seems to be leaving us alone. Wait... No. Just quickly, just destroy it. Okay, this is... I can't tell if he's just going, trying to stare at us while we destroy it. Okay. Come on. Okay, come on, just destroy it. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, dive deeper, dive deeper, dive deeper. Whew! Skippy or almond butter? Uh, I don't really care what brand of peanut butter I get. I just prefer creamy. 